guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's another amazing time here if you're seeing me for the first time my name is cassandra i am a health and nutrition coach and i love to talk about healthy living amazing for recipes as well if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and join the family to my returning subscribers you guys are amazing welcome back in today's video, we're going to be talking about smoothies and smoothie prep. I'm going to be sharing with you five simple smoothie recipes that you can prepare and prep them in less than 20 minutes and you're good to go. Some people use the method of blending their smoothies and freezing them. And some people say it kind of like alters the flavor or the taste of the smoothie the next day. So here is a quick hack for you and I'm going to be sharing with you some amazing tips that will make your smoothie taste really good. So the first step is actually to write down the list of smoothie recipes that you want to make. So here I have some sticker notes and I have the five smoothie recipes that we're going to be prepping today. I have them here so it's easy for me to actually know what particular ingredients that I need for each smoothie. Okay, the second tip is to make sure that you have some vegetables. This is very important. Make sure you have vegetable, make sure that you have fiber, make sure that you have protein. So you can use any protein of choice. You can use protein powder, make sure that it has a high quality. Do not just buy any kind of protein powder. The first one is spinach. It contains a lot of vitamins and minerals spinach is perfect in your smoothies if you do not like spinach you can use kale you can also use cabbage and you can also use celery so i've given you like four different options and of course you can use cucumber now i love cucumber so much in smoothies especially if you do not want your smoothie to be so um thick then add some cucumber because it has a lot of water content so it's going to make your smoothie you know a little bit watery if you want your smoothies to be like that the second part is of course you have some fruits for my new schedule for the month actually i really want to focus more on berries i have some, some blueberries here as one of the berries i also have some raspberry rasp rasp berries i find it hard to pronounce that word of course do not forget banana banana gives your smoothies this creamy and thick texture so it's important that you have bananas if you want to look smoothie it is important that you need to add some fiber to your smoothie one high fiber food that i really love to add to my smoothie are chia seeds now if you have flax seeds that is also perfect. Another nice ingredient I like to add is cinnamon. For our protein, I use some unsweetened Greek yogurt that contains 0% fat. So let's get started. So the first smoothie that we're going to prep is a mango spinach smoothie. So I have my mason jar here and I'm going to be using a handful of spinach. I'm just going to put it into the mason jar. I'm going to add some sliced bananas and I usually use just one full banana which is which I've cut into six pieces. I have my frozen mango. Now that we're done adding the fruits and vegetable, I'm going to put my chia seeds and some almond butter then we'll just close this up and this is prepped for whenever you want to blend i think i'm going to have this tomorrow so this is perfect you can either freeze this or just keep in the refrigerator it's still going to be very very fresh i'll be adding about one meal of cinnamon so just and some almond butter this this smoothie is ready and all you need to do is when it's time for you to blend add some 
almond milk or low fat milk or your Greek yogurt and you're good to go. For our second smoothie prep, we're going to have some kiwi strawberry smoothie. And the first thing, we're going to add our vegetables. A handful of spinach will go in here. So, and next thing, I'm going to add some bananas. And our kiwi will go in. Strawberries. Now I'm going to add some chia seeds to this. I'm not adding cinnamon to this particular smoothie. Butter. And our second smoothie is prepped. So when it's time to blend, just add your Greek yogurt or almond milk. And this is ready. This is good to go. Our third smoothie recipe, we have some spinach raspberry smoothie and I'm going to add our spinach in here. Our raspberry will go in. It was frozen before now, so I'm just going to add this raspberry here. Our cucumber. Some chia seeds and that is that for our third smoothie recipe you're going to get this kind of ziploc bags and it also has a place where you can label and write whatever it is that you want to write here I find this very very cute I'm going to add some spinach here I'm going to add the banana and our Blueberries will go in. That's about our raspberries will go in. Some cinnamon as well. Banana smoothie. And this goes into the refrigerator. The final smoothie recipe, which is our fifth one, is our blueberry mango smoothie. And we'll be, the vegetable for this, we're going to use some cucumber for this. So cucumber will go in first into our Ziploc bag. Our mango will go in. And our blueberries chia seeds here some cinnamon will go in here our fifth smoothie ready and i'm just going to write mango and this is what we have we have our raspberry banana smoothie mango blueberry smoothie we have other types of smoothie here so we have five smoothie prep ready for you to have during the week they're very easy to make. All you need to do is add your almond milk or Greek yogurt and just blend. And it will taste so, so nice. Easy tips, very straight to the point. And here you have your smoothie prepped for the week. So for example, if tomorrow I want to have this cucumber raspberry smoothie, all I need to do is add my Greek yogurt or almond milk and just blend and i am good to go so these are five amazing smoothie recipes that i have shown you today very lovely they are sugar friendly if you're diabetic or you're pre-diabetic or you are or you have pcos these are perfect smoothie recipes for you on that note if you have not downloaded my free smoothie recipe book you need to check it out the link is in the description box and if you really enjoyed this video please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel to learn more amazing and healthy recipes until next time i'll see you in my next video while i refrigerate these i can't wait to have them <laughs>